Where's your polka dots? <laughs> I need talk- to invest in some polka Well, I do have yeah. something on this polka dots, but... Oh, well, yeah, nobody wants to see that. Yeah, it's my phone. News Talk 1270 KIML. Don Carpenter's show. Welcome back. It's 631. Okay, Chris Brentel's joining us, and I know, I know. Everybody rolls their eyes every time we start talking about wrestling, but it's my show, damn it, so... <laughs> I used to get in trouble at my old station for talking about too much wrestling. Oh, not, well. not trouble, but you know, could you cut back on the wrestling talk? Ugh. Yeah, no. yeah, no, I, people like wrestling. Yeah, well, and look, this is actually newsworthy. This was on Drudge. This was on Fox News. I mean, this is this is pretty big news. Uh, if anybody remembers uh, Dusty Rhodes back from the old days of wrestling, uh, he passed away yesterday, and of course, it happened right. The announcement was right after my show, so I couldn't even uh, I couldn't even do you know a little bit of a. A little bit of a tribute on the show, uh, but I mean, you know, it, it's funny. I don't normally get um, bummed out when famous people die. It only it's only happened a few times when famous people die. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think the last time, maybe Ronnie James Dio, because mm-hmm. that one kind of bummed me out too. Not not to the point where it ruins my day. I mean, the, I don't know these people personally, and. I'm not one of those people that are going to go around and put a, uh, a rest in peace sticker on the back of my car for a famous person. Right. I saw, there's someone driving around town that has a rest in peace. You know, you've seen those where the people get them for their family, which you know that's you know that's fine. But um, I've seen I've seen someone driving around town, and I can't remember who the famous person is. Um, oh man, I can't remember who it is. Actually, it might not have been here. Actually, I think it was when I was back east. Yeah, it was when I was in, in Baltimore. There was somebody driving around Baltimore with a rest in peace Farrah Fawcett sticker on the back of his car. That's strange. That is strange. I mean, look, I mean, everybody liked Farrah Fawcett, but uh, enough to put a big, huge sticker on the back window of your car? I don't know. Yeah, uh, that's kind of weird. Yeah. I didn't like anybody that much. Yeah, well, see, <laughs> and, and and that's the thing. I mean... Famous people don't really connect with me. I don't, you know, I don't, I'm not one of these cult of personality type guys where I have to follow, you know, somebody famous to have some kind of identity of my own. Um, so, I mean, you know, it, it doesn't really, I mean, it, you know, it, it kind of, it kind of bums me out when somebody like, I don't know, I don't know why Dusty Rhodes was the guy. I mean, because look, as, as bad as it sounds, wrestlers die all the time. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, you know, it's a hard sport. These guys live hard lives, and you know, Dusty. I, I imagine back in the seventies, he lived quite a life. Well, it's kind of refreshing. He made it to you know sixty something. Yeah, I guess yeah. because a lot of these wrestlers aren't making it to fifty. Sadly enough, because of the lives they lead, you know, it's just. And I think you know, Dusty Rhodes passing. He just seemed like a genuine guy. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, and he seemed he seemed like a nice person. And I, uh, I don't know him at all. He may have been the total opposite, but I, you know, he just he come off that way. Well, and and I've seen interviews with people. You know, they they do these interviews where these guys break character and they talk about. And trust me, uh, they'll they'll out somebody that's not genuine, and right? Is is a jerk in a second. Um, and I don't think I've ever seen anyone say anything bad about D- D- Dusty as a person. Uh, you know, he, he wasn't really the best businessman, but you know, not everybody can run a big, uh, a big entertainment company. So, uh, but as as a person, to a you know, to uh, you know, to a T, I think every every single one I've seen said, you know, this guy was a good guy. He was, you know, he, he did the best he could for his family. On you know, he's on the road, so. Um, you know, he didn't get to see his kids a whole lot while they were growing up, but he made up for it when they were adults. I mean, he he was very involved, and of course, both of his sons end up being you know performers too, uh, fairly successful ones too. Oh yes, and and good. I mean, you know, they were they were good too. <laughs> you know, it's it's funny. I, I I bet you don't remember this. 
Yeah, I got I got something else for you. You probably don't remember this either. What is this? It's this WCW theme. No, I don't remember that Again, one. Again, the exact same song. This really is. <laughs> well, it's a little bit of a different... <laughs> Jim, Jimmy Hart wrote both. <laughs> so I, I guess they couldn't use the one that he wrote when he was in, in WWE. So mm. it's the exact same song it with, really with is. fake different crowd lyrics. noise. Right. Yeah. Um, same guy wrote them both. So it's it's not as blatant of a ripoff as, <laughs> as the Hulk Hogan theme, which wasn't oh, yeah. written by Jimmy Hart. Uh, but... <laughs> But uh, yeah, I mean, look, I mean, uh, the the guy was talented, and uh, you know, he didn't perform anymore. But he was the guy that trains the new guys how to uh, how to do interviews and how to speak. And I think he's a reason why a lot of them ha- have really, really improved. I mean, you see some of these younger guys that come up, and they, they can barely talk at all. Right. And within a year or two, they're much better. Good example of that. Is uh, Ryback? Mm-hmm. He's much better. Yeah, he, Ryback. When he first came there, he you know he just his, his gimmick was he just beat people up and he didn't really talk. Uh, lately, he's been doing a thing where he talks about his life story, and he actually has an interesting life story. And yeah, he's, he's starting to kind of uh, reach the fans a little bit. Yeah, yeah, uh, they're I think starting that's... to gravitate towards him, and not because of his you know wrestling and his you know. Yeah, and he's, he's not good. Yeah, and but but his story is, yeah, is good. He's an interesting guy, and he's likable if you just get a chance to like him. And and then I think that's uh, a, a lot of that has to do with Dusty Rhodes. Roman Reigns has gotten better too. Roman's I'll gotten a lot. I'll even admit that. I think he's relaxed more. Well, uh, what it was, and, and his wrestling. Look, his wrestling isn't that bad. No, it's pretty good. He's for pretty, a big guy. I mean, he's got a he's got a dumb move set. The the moves, if they adjusted his moves, uh, but the 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 fundamentals are there. He's he's all right. He's very athletic. He doesn't you know he doesn't get blown up in the ring. He's actually pretty good, and, and I think the fans are starting to come around, and that's just what it takes. I mean. Um, what they were, you know, planning on doing earlier in the year uh, would have destroyed his career. As it is now, he'll probably be one of the biggest stars they've ever had because they're taking it slow. Yeah. So, hey, good for them. And I, I know, I know, it's 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 wrestling. I know, but uh, like I said, it's my show. <laughs> okay, what do we have going on in sports? Well, we have Ryder baseball and uh, high school rodeo finals results from yesterday. Okay, sounds good, and uh, we're going to take a break. A little bit more Dusty Roads, just as a kind of a tribute before we uh, before we wrap things up. This is the, it's not the whole thing, but it's the famous hard times interview, which is um, it's it's still today. I mean, it still resonates today, and it's yep. probably a thirty year old bit. So uh, we'll see you in a few minutes. News Talk twelve seventy KIML. Basin Radio News, Fox News, Cowboy State News. More news than you can shake a stick at. Don Carpenter on News Talk 1270 KIML. Here is the American dream. Dusty Rhodes and Dusty, your fans welcome you back, man. First of all, I would like to thank the many, many fans throughout this country that wrote cards and letters to Dusty Rhodes, the American dream, while I was down. Secondly, I want to thank Jim Crockett Promotions for waiting and taking the time because I know how important it was. Starcade 85, it is to the resident fans, it is to Jim Crockett Promotions. And Dusty Rhodes, the American dream, with that weight, got what I wanted. Ric Flair, the world's heavyweight champion. I don't have to say a lot more about the way I feel about Ric Flair. No respect, no honor. There is no honor among thieves in the first place. He put hard times on Dusty Rhodes and his family. You don't know what hard times are, Daddy. Hard times are when the textile workers around this country are out of work and got four or five kids and can't pay their wages, can't buy their food. Hard times are when the auto workers are out of work and they tell them go home. And hard times are when a man has worked at a job 30 years 
30 years. They give him a watch, kick him in the butt, and say, hey, a computer took your place, daddy. That's hard time. That's hard time.